This video recreates a senseless murder. It has been recreated to illustrate the out of control violence, its impact on the victim, the perpetrators, and our community. As well as the efforts of the Mobile Police Department to provide a combination of swift, fair law enforcement, and help for young people who may be breaking our laws or under pressure to break them. 17-year-old Trayon Washington ended his life in any meaning it had in a split second. In that instant, he pulled the trigger on a pistol, killed a 40-year-old mother he didn't even know, and branded himself one of the most despicable individuals in human history, a murderer. Then he ran. For three days, he found shelter wherever he could, subjected his friends and family to charges of harboring a fugitive, and tried to control the mounting panic as law enforcement closed in. I am Mobile Police Chief James Barber. Smart, determined, thoroughly trained and armed mobile police officers, used instant communications technology, science, undercover work, sophisticated interviewing techniques, criminal behavior tools, media cooperation, modern investigative procedures and databases to identify Washington within 48 hours of the murder and arrest him within three days. Washington was alone a killer on the run with over 500 police officers and thousands of civilians looking for him. We got a subject inside, the fumes come out, it's barricaded, so I think we ought to start SWAT team. Go ahead and start SWAT. Get on the ground. Hands on your head. Hands on your head. Hands on back your head. Hands on back your head. Move. He gave up without a fight. Washington decided to kill two people in the split second he took to pull that trigger. An unarmed woman and himself. He was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. Now he is waiting to die of old age in prison. He isn't going home. He isn't going to the movies. He isn't going to have a job. He isn't going to have a family, and he isn't going to get a good night's sleep. He isn't going to enjoy a good meal. He isn't going to do anything except wait behind bars to die. His split second choice made him less time than a heartbeat. It wasn't the only step he took to end his own life. He started breaking the law early. Perhaps it began like so many others I've seen, smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, using marijuana, hanging out with drug dealers and users. What I do know is that he obtained an illegal gun, loaded it, brandished it like a cowboy movie bandit, and killed with it when he was 17 years old. His decisions to break the law formed a chain of events that sealed his fate. If you have a juvenile record of serious offenses, you will not be eligible for youthful offender status. As in the case of Trayon Washington, you will be tried as an adult. Washington's experience with one unlawful action leading to another and then another is just like the experiences Holman and Tutwiler prison inmates described in their own words when former Mobile County District Attorney John Tyson Jr. interviewed them on videotape a few years ago. They got no breaks for telling their stories, no special privileges, only a chance to try to make something out of their lost lives by helping you. Once the sons me to death, it was, it, was, it was an experience that I'd never experienced before. Because I've never, I, I've been shot at, I've been had guns pulled on me and so on. But I never had to sit and wait to die. I laid up in that cell and I thought, I worried, I cried. When man cried now, I cried. I was confused. I looked back over my life. I saw all the mistakes I made. I saw well, I killed this man. Think about your family, think about your future. Weigh it out. Simply do it like this. Open your hand up. Look at your future. So where well, I got a freedom in this hand, and I got prison in this hand. I got my family in this hand. I got prison in this hand. I got an educational job in this hand. I got prison in this hand. 
I got my little one. I got the wife, my children. Free. Free. Now, if you had a child, which hand you would choose? I think you choose the left hand. You don't get caught. You know what I'm saying? You may get away two, three times. You may get away 20 times. More time to get away, the more, more chances you're going to take. I wished I could go back and take my parents' advice today. I, I wouldn't be here, I promise you. <laughs> I would never make the same mistakes again. I'd listen to what they had to say to me because I'm saying the same thing to my children today that my mother said to me. Lied about my age, got a job waitressing in a nightclub, and oh, that was great. That was wonderful. That just led me right on down the road a little further to getting into more trouble. Started smoking pot. And later on in life, I ended up in prison behind all that. I, I, I really believe that I just walked right myself right into prison. Accomplice law is the same thing. Okay? I have I have it spoken from the judge himself that I didn't participate in this crime, that I was only present at the scene. It it was part of it was all in the newspaper. I mean Come on, but I'm charged with murder. You don't want to be in here. You'd rather be out there on the streets living under a bridge than you had living in here. You got choices in life. And I made a stupid choice when I was about 17 years old to start smoking cigarettes, start drinking beer, and start smoking pot. Those three choices I made have ruined my life, have messed up my mother and father's life, have God only knows what it's done to my daughter that I hadn't seen in 19 years. Life is precious. You live once and then you die. And if I know I can't take away the past, but I only can work towards the future. And if you got a life out there and you still young, you can become somebody. You don't have to take the wrong step like I did. I was charged with capital murder at the age 15. I had another charge, burglary theft, and then I violated my probation on another burglary theft. I got out on a Sunday out of detention center I was 15, got out on a Sunday, and like three days later, I caught my capital murder case. Well, I didn't kill nobody, so I ain't worried about it. But then they tried me as an adult. If you have trouble, tell somebody, a school counselor, the church, a priest. If you have a mentor, someone you can look up to, or a best friend that you can confide in, tell someone. Don't, the only thing that was different is I was an idiot. I was stupid. I, my, I was stupid. That's what was wrong with me. I didn't think about what, what, was, what, what I was doing. That's what I tell you, don't. Well, who would have had influence with you when you were 16? Nobody. Nobody. Not your mama, not your daddy, no. not your sisters, not anybody. Not anybody. You wouldn't listen to anybody about anything? No. I come out lucky with what I do have because uh, I would have been on the other end down there. Waiting, waiting for him to strap me down. The other end, waiting to strap you down means death row, doesn't it? Right. Because if you're willing to give your whole life up for that, just so you can, you know, be a big man and, and because you did this, well, go ahead and do it, you know. But you, you ain't going to like it. You ain't, you, it's, you're going to see that it was the stupidest mistake that you've ever made in your whole life. And I know that times will come when other kids will try to get you to do things that you know in your heart, you know that they're wrong before you're even approached. You know it's that little voice inside of you that says, you know, I'm scared to do this. There will come a day when you'll pay that price. Um, there'll come a day when you'll look back and you'll realize that you have thrown your whole life away, that time has passed you by, um, that other people have gone on with their lives. My middle daughter is like a stranger to me. I don't know her favorite color. 
I don't know, you know, what kind of ice cream she likes. I don't know anything about her. You know, but it's my fault. I mean, it's my fault. I brought these things on myself by the choices that I, that I made in life. Don't listen to, to the, the people that say they're your friends, they're your, your homeboys, they're your, you know, your B, B dog or G brothers, none of that. You know, don't listen to that. You know, whatever you do, you know, you take responsibility for yourself. You know, don't mark all that. Mark all that squareness, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you chump, you punk, all that. That don't mean jack. Because when you come here, if you have to come here, you're taking a very good chance of being just what they call you, a punk, a chump, and all that. You know, if, you know just hang in there, man. Go on and get your, your, your education, man. Graduate from high school. Enjoy the proms, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you have, if you can, if you're able, you know, go to college, you know, try to better yourself, you know, take, take on the responsibility, you know what I'm saying, for you, you know, uh, because once you come here, you, you, your choices, they're limited, your options, uh, they're gone. Nothing, there's nothing in this world worth coming here. I wish to God that I would have had you then. Man, if I would have had you then, I wouldn't be here now. It's too late. It's not because I love you or I know you. I don't know you from a man in the moon. I, this is my second time ever seeing you in life. But what was someone like you at then? when I needed you. Beat up with somebody. Just take time out, man. Go out there in the projects. And look, you'll find me every day. Every day you'll find me. I'm hurting by the millions out there. That's all got to do is listen to me. It's tough for inmates in our prisons, real tough. Many of these people are still in prison. The only change in their lives is the gray hair on their heads. Alabama law says if you commit a violent crime, you will be charged as an adult. It says you are guilty of shoplifting if you are with someone who shoplifts. It says if you are convicted of three felonies, you will go to prison for the rest of your life. No parole. It is a die-in-prison sentence. Trayon Washington's half-brother, Pat Brown, who was with him at the shooting, was also convicted of murder. He is eligible for parole in the year 2054. I know it is tough for you too. Peer pressure, no father, problems at school, bullying on the school bus or at school, can't get along with your mom, step-parent hates you or abuses you, so-called friends trying to get you hooked on drugs so that they can control you, make money off of you, or use you for sex. Adults using you to commit crimes like shoplifting. I've seen much of what you've had to deal with in my 25 years as a police officer, but only you have experienced it and know the danger you are in. This is an emergency for you, so do what you would do in an emergency. Get away from the danger and ask for help. Call our office, flag down a patrol car, talk to the officer on the beat, go to a preacher, go to a teacher, a principal, or a coach, ask for help. Use this number or this email address to reach our family intervention team specialists. They are trained to get you the help that you need. We won't arrest you for asking for help. In fact, when we learn what you need, we will help you find it from the social agencies and volunteers that we know who can and will help you. We will even check back with you to see how you were doing. At the Mobile Police Department, we are using our authority, discipline, and technology to make Mobile the safest city in the nation for everybody by being very good at two things, finding and arresting those who break the law, and offering help and protection to those who obey our laws. 
Our help and protection is available for you when you choose to obey the law. Live safe. Don't be tricked by those who say it's fun or exciting or cool to break our laws. If you do, you, like Trayon Washington, will face the full power of the City of Mobile Police Department. Your life has value. I care about you because your life is important to me. It should be important to you as well. Learn to obey our laws. Separate yourself from those that don't obey them and ask for help if you need it. Choose to live safe. It's not too late. The fact that you are watching this video means you still have a choice.